me, uh, planning and scheduling content can be really good one day and then really shit the next. I go through so many ebbs and flows, even with all the processes I have, in order to make sure my content is being uploaded and seen by an audience. So I always start with the best intentions, but I go up and down and left and right and upside down. And in order to uh, post regularly, I have had to set some goals. So I thought I'd share with you exactly what you need to do in order to make sure that your content or anything that you do regularly gets done. Right, okay, so we're gonna start with basically the big business goal. We're not even gonna talk about the smallest goal first. Uh, so whether you're a big business, uh, so whether you're making content for a big business or you're a solopreneur or an influencer or you're just a small business, these smart goals can help you keep on track. But you need to start with your big overarching business goals first because otherwise there's no point. So look at your business strategy. Think about what are the top goals for the year. Prioritize the ones that maybe need a little help or look at the overarching king goal of increasing sales. Basically, if you build your goals from a foundational goal in your business strategy, one of the big overarching goals that multiple people are probably contributing to, uh, there's a higher chance of you actually achieving these or getting closer to it. So some common business examples include increasing your sales, uh, employee retention, and I know at the moment that's not ideal, uh, increase your market share, maybe finalize and finish a product you've been working on for years and years and years, uh, looking at community outreach, maybe you want to grow your audience, um, maybe it's simply just providing leadership training. Whatever it is, uh, it's probably big and, and lofty and uh, probably written into your KPIs. So I'm going to narrow that down to more marketing content, social media kind of focus, because that's currently what I need to be doing. <laughs> like any business, you want to increase your sales. You want to have income coming in and you want to make sure your profit margins are huge. Though in reality, they're not in this inflated market. Uh, so let's take increased sales as the goal, right? We want to increase income and make sure that every month we are building on our value. So what would you do in order to build your income? Ideally, you'd reach out to your hot leads and you'd nurture those relationships because they're more likely to give you money than a random off the street. However, you might not have any hot leads. So what you're gonna do is broadly market your offer, your service and your value. So you do social media, advertising, PR, you could do events, webinars, conferences, uh, you could do pop-up stalls, you could do meetups. There are so many different ways you can market your product. There is no one and done kind of thing. So from there, you want to think about what are your more targeted goals. So you could be looking at things like you want to increase your awareness. You want to uh, actually get legitimate leads on and not just random people who kind of waste your time. You want to look at building key partnerships and relationships. Um, you want to acquire new customers. Maybe you want to build your authority um, and build a community around that where you're the expert. And then from there, you want to build uh, really specific social media goals. So if it was social media, I'd be looking at growing a following, increasing engagement and uh, increasing conversions. And all those three things will add up to increase sales. So it's still aligning with the overall business goal, but it's giving you a stronger foundation to reach that goal. And you're probably more likely, if you explain it like that, to get more resources that you need. Let's use the SMART goals framework. It's everywhere. Everybody with Google has probably seen it by now. I like the framework because it helps create very deliberate and understandable goals. And that means you can be really focused at achieving them and making sure you reach them with a higher quality. Specific. You're more likely to achieve a goal if it's specific. You want to make sure that you've plotted down every part about the goal. So there's no ambiguity. Have you ever looked at like a blank page and not known what to write? Well, it's, it's kind of the same thing with goals. If you don't step it out and make it really clear and obvious, it is less likely to happen. You're going to procrastinate, you're going to forget, you're going to ignore it. So how are you going to be specific? Well, you want to look at uh, all the people who are involved, all the things that are involved, all the platforms that need to be involved, um, what needs to actually be achieved, where is this goal? How are you going to get there? Another way to do it is to like break it down. So maybe it's like uh, growing followers, right? So you might need to break that down into 
the, what social channels are you using? Where are they going to be placed? Is it around specific events? Who's going to be in charge of it? Do you need multiple people at different stages? Be really specific. So more specifically, you'd be saying, I want to look at the social team using key contacts, uh, James and Samantha. I want to gain 30,000 followers by the end of the year. I'm going to use our four most popular platforms, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, and Instagram. And we're going to launch with four campaigns over the year in order to keep our content fresh and uh, our engagement up and get more followers that way. And you can even drill down into it further by looking at your brand strategy. You could be looking at your content pillars, your messaging. Also look at some data and analysis that you already have so you can make the best decision and move forward with it. M is measurable. How are you gonna measure yourself so you know that you achieve your goal? What are the steps that you need to achieve in order to get to the final goal? How can you show success? Is there data and numbers that you can use to reflect a positive or a negative result? Is there something else you can measure against? But basically, how will you know you've achieved the goal? It's pretty simple. Again, it comes down to breaking things down. For example, um, if you want to increase your followers, do you want to do that monthly? Do you want to do that daily, weekly? Is there a specific measurement of followers that you want to achieve per time? So for instance, instead of saying, I want to increase my followers monthly, how about you say, I want to achieve 2,500 followers per month? Because that means that you have a really small target that you need to hit each month rather than having the whole goal be so overwhelming at once. A achievable. This is kind of a funny one. Uh, a lot of people get a little bit conflicted with this and it's basically, is the goal achievable? <laughs> I know it sounds a bit like, well, yeah, I mean, why would we plan it if we don't want to do it? But there are many elements that might throw you off your game. Are the goals achievable? Is there anything or any roadblocks or any person who's going to deter you from achieving it? Do you have all the resources that you need in order to achieve it? Do you have proof that this is possible? So instead of saying, yeah, it's kind of achievable. I mean, we'll see when we get to the end. It's not a great mindset to have right from the start. So instead of saying somewhat, so instead of saying something like, oh yeah, it's, it's somewhat achievable. It's a really poor mindset to have going into the goal to start with. But essentially what you want to say is, yes, the social team have booked out their time. Uh, we have additional budget or we're making use of existing budget. Um, and we're just going to make sure that during the holiday break, we don't back off. We've got to make sure that we stay consistent, but we do foresee some follower drop counts. So you're saying what it is, what's going to happen, who's a part of it, and also what your roadblocks are. R is relevant. What is the bigger picture? Can you provide context? Does it apply to you? How do you feel personally about achieving the goal? So even if it's business, you always need to have some sort of purpose within a goal in order to feel like you're achieving it. Otherwise you won't put that much attention to it. So look at how these goals benefit you. If you achieve these goals, how will you be affected? Make sure, as I said before, that the business goal is the overarching goal or a strategic goal. So it's foundationally built into something that's going to last because that gives it more purpose and more uh, gravitas. So what is the key reason to achieve this goal, whether it's personal or business, usually it's both. Uh, and are you able to commit to fulfilling this goal? So how can you make a relevant goal? Well, you just outline the things that we've just gone over. So you say, yes, that aligns with our goal because it's built out from the business strategy we are likely to get more sales because in the past when we've built out campaigns like this, our sales have increased. And it's relevant to me because we are working towards building more resources for the company. And then the last thing is time. So what timelines are you working with? What is the timeline to achieve this goal? So I like to have multiple. I like to have the overarching timeline. So maybe it'll take you a year and then have the steps within that timeline so you know what things did you when. So like really detail it out so you know exactly who is responsible when, for what, for why. And is there anything else you need to plan around? So our example earlier was talking about like a Christmas break where followers will drop off because not as many people will be on their Instagram. Make sure that there's no like public holidays or events that you may have to work into your timeline. 
So if we're looking at increasing our follower count, uh, one of the responses could be, um, you know, spend two months planning and creating content and then every two months launch a new campaign, review quarterly or review after every campaign, accomplish goal by, you know, December 2023. So I've just gone through a really quick discussion of what a SMART goal is and how to achieve them and some examples around them. You can actually download a SMART goal framework in the comments below. Um, I actually use them quite a lot, so feel free to jump in. It's just a PDF you can download. You don't need to share your email. Now, if you've gotten value out of what I've said, uh, hit that like button below and subscribe because I share brand and business content weekly. And don't forget the comments below. Bye. Coffee break.